Hi everyone, welcome to your 20 minute pregnancy pilates toning on the mat routine. We're going to begin today seated cross-legged on your mat. Let's ensure we are sitting up tall, your collarbones are wide and you've got equal pressure on both hips. Let's begin with some gentle shoulder rolls, gliding them up towards your ears and round. You just want to let go of any tension around the neck and shoulders here, taking a nice inhale and exhale. Start to engage your core muscles by gently hugging your baby in towards you, just about 20 to 30 percent. And let's just take a few deep breaths with that. Taking yourself into a side bend, we're going to raise this arm overhead and then repeat to the other side. Let's take a big exhale, breathe out to your rib cage as you expand the ribs up towards the ceiling. Coming back to the center here, we're just gonna roll the pelvis backwards and forwards for our pelvic tilt. And this can be really nice to relieve any pressure on your lower back or pelvis region. So just curling under and then sitting up tall. We're going to take things to the sides now. So place your feet and knees hip distance apart and gently lean yourself back onto your elbows. You want to widen your collarbones and draw your shoulder blades back behind you. Let's engage your core here and float one leg to tabletop and then the other. This is our reclined scissors exercise and it's great for strengthening your core while keeping that weight through the upper half of your body. Let's exhale and inhale. Try to place the foot exactly back on the mat where it came from, making sure that your back is not slumping down to the mat and that you're keeping your neutral spine position. Let's extend the leg now for our one leg stretch. Tabletop and then lengthen away. We exhale as we lengthen. We inhale, return. Keep your chin off of your chest and think about lengthening your head up towards the ceiling. Keep drawing those shoulder blades back behind you. Exhale, point away, inhale, return. Good job. We're going to get ready for some elbow dips now to increase the upper body strength. So bring yourself up onto your hands and place your wrists in a comfortable position. Stack your spine up tall and shoulder blades back. We're going to bend the elbows directly back behind you. So here, make sure the elbows are not going out to the side. You want them directly backwards so that we're hitting the triceps and the back of the arms. Let's breathe out, breathe in. To take that to the next level, we're going to raise the hips off the ground, still encouraging the movement to occur through your elbows. So here, be really careful not to let your bottom and your hips do the work. It should be your arms that's taking the whole of the weight. Let's breathe out and breathe in. Push yourself up through the arms. Keep those shoulders back and your eye gaze directly ahead. Good, let's get the weight off of those wrists for a moment. Bring the soles of your feet together and open your legs out for a butterfly stretch. This is a really nice way to open up the hips and it makes room for your bump in the middle there. Take a slight bend forwards and a breath out. And just slow your breathing back down here, relaxing those legs towards the floor. Gently roll the shoulders, relieve of any tension. And just relax. Take an inhale and an exhale. 
We're going to get ready now for some side-lying exercises to work into the legs a little bit further. So lie yourself down flat with your feet, knees and hips all stacked on top of each other. The shoulders are stacked and you want to have a small space here for your lower waist to be slightly lifted up. Hand can be in front or on your hip. We're going to raise the top leg and lower back down. We want to exhale as we raise and inhale lower. Point the toes to lift, pull them back towards you to go down and try and keep this lower waist raised just enough to fit a blueberry under your lower waist. And that just tells us that our core is engaged throughout. So working from this top hip, but also from your core. Breathing out, breathing in. Hold it here. Make sure the centre is still engaged. We're going to begin some leg circles. So this exercise really challenges the endurance of your glute muscles, but also maintaining that core strength. So you want to draw big circles with your big toe, working from the hip. So the whole leg is moving with you. Keep your breath steady, breathing out, breathing in. And think about lengthening the leg away from your hip here. Okay, let's rest that leg down and hug the knee towards your chest. You might need to just readjust your hips and uh, core area. We're going to raise the bottom leg for inner thigh lifts. Now you'll see that this is not a big movement, but you'll probably feel like it should lift higher than it does. But because of the way you're positioned, it won't. So just lift it as far as you can. Let's exhale, lift, inhale, lower. And once again, think about lengthening the foot away from you rather than just a lift. Okay, let's carefully bring ourselves up into um, high side lying. So place your shoulder above your elbow and your body in streamline. You want the hips are stacked and the feet tucked behind you. We're gonna get ready for some side bends. So let's raise up this top side, squeezing up that bottom waist and hold it here and then lower back down. We're going to exhale. Think about really scooping up the bottom waist and back down. Breath out. Rainbow that top arm overhead and lower. And really push yourself out of the mat with the bottom shoulder. Squeeze your knees together and your inner thighs and lower last time. Let's just take a child's pose here. So separating your knees to make room for bump, stretch your arms out in front. Think about melting your armpits towards the mat and sinking your hips over your heels. Let's give those shoulders another roll back. And gently bring your ear down to your shoulder and repeat on the opposite side. We're going to stay here for the next couple of exercises. So bring your shoulders just above your wrists and your hips above your knees. We're going to curl the tailbone and chin up and then let them out. So here we want to arch the spine to the ceiling and then just come back to a comfortable neutral position. We don't want to overly drop your bump towards the mat here. From here, curl your toes under, ready for leg pull and prone. Core engages. We're going to hover the knees a few inches and lower back down now. Try to keep it just to a few inches. The higher you go, the actually the easier this exercise becomes. So here we're keeping that chest high from the floor and the shoulders away from your ears really good upper body stability exercise and also core strengthening. Exhale, inhale, hold, lower back down. Trying to keep your back neutral all the way through and holding it here, strong position, breathing, 
folding it again. Good, let's move these knees slightly further back now. We're going to get ready for some modified knee press-ups. So keeping that back in line, your core engaged, we're going to bend through the elbows and push back. Try to keep your whole body in line and think about bringing your hips, your belly and your chest all towards the mat. Let's breathe out, breathe in. And then see if you can get a little bit closer towards your mat. Breathe out, breathe in. Good job. Let's take a child's pose. So open the knees wide and sink down towards your mat. Have a long exhale as you release any tension around your upper body. We're going to come down into side lying on your opposite side now to repeat the side sequence. So stack your feet, knees and hips all once again and lift this lower waist ever so slightly. Hand can be in front for balance or on the hip. Let's engage through your centre and lift this top leg. Let's point the toes, pull them back towards us. So here we want to be cueing the movement from your gluteal muscles, the bottom muscles. So think about drawing your bottom bones back behind you as you lift and lower. As you lift the leg, let's ensure that you don't squash your lower rib cage to the mat. Let's exhale and inhale. Let's hold it here ready for our circles. So think about lengthening the leg away from your hip. We're going to draw circles with your big toe. So here where you've got your hand on your hip, try to ensure that the pelvis stays really steady and it's only the leg that's doing the work. Breathing out, breathing in. Think about lengthening the toes away from your hand. Let's place that leg down now and hug the knee towards your chest, readjusting if you need to. We're going to lift the bottom leg. So as you lift the leg, we want to ensure that the core stays engaged. Let's exhale and inhale. Keeping the tension out of the top half of the body throughout. Good, okay. Let's prop yourself up onto your arm now. So once again, have the shoulder just above the elbow. The knees are glued together and the hips are facing forwards. As we rise up, you want to push your pubic bone towards the front of the room and arch through those rib cages. So let's exhale, float this arm over, gain height through your top rib cage and inhale to lower. Squeeze through your inner thighs and knees and keep your core engaged throughout. Breathing out, draw the shoulder blades back behind you. And floating up, hold that bottom hip high and lower down. Let's take another child's pose here. Sink those hips over your heels and walk your fingertips away from you. We're going to walk the hands over to one side and sink your hips down in the opposite direction. This is a really lovely way to stretch out the whole of the spine. Let's walk to the opposite side and melt yourself down. Taking another big exhale here. Let's come back onto our hands and knees position here separate the knees and we're going to thread this arm underneath as far as you can and then we're going to open it up to the other side. This is our thread the needle stretch and it's a really lovely way to stretch out the upper spine, the upper body and it opens you through the front of the body as well. 
So only stretch as far as it's comfortable for you. Let's repeat on the other side. So sliding the shoulder down as far as you can, but keep the hips high. And then as you come round, open the chest to the ceiling, draw the shoulder back. Let's take a breath in, slide under. And then exhale, open it round, stacking the shoulders. Good, let's turn to take our face to the front now. And we're just going to take a gluteal stretch here. So folding one foot on top of the opposite thigh and then work your body closer towards your foot. Keep your chest up tall and pushing this knee out to the side. And you want to feel this around the hip muscles that you've worked so hard. This is one of my favourite ways to stretch out to my hips and it's the most practical when you have an ever-growing bump as well. So take the other leg into position and then just edge the chest forwards towards that foot. Carefully uncross your legs. And then we're going to come into cross-legged sitting here. So sitting up tall, let's just take some big shoulder rolls once again and taking it back to our side bend. Exhaling as we float the arm over. Inhaling, come back. Just let it flow nicely from side to side. No tension in that upper body. Let's roll out those shoulders once again. And just place your hands around your bump here. Maybe close your eyes. And I want you just to take a nice big inhale and an exhale. And try to make the breath in equal the breath out so that we're really slowing down the breath, slowing down any tension or releasing any tension, keeping the thoughts to just you and your workout today. And just feel your breath moving on your bump. Feel that tension draining from your shoulders, that sense of relaxation going through you from head right down to your feet. I hope you enjoyed our workout today. I'd love it if you could like, subscribe and share this with any friends that might benefit and you'll find more of my pregnancy Pilates videos on my YouTube.